Kanye, well, clearly you're going through something else because you're acting like a lunatic. The Kardashians are back with more hot drama, and it appears that Kourtney and Kim are feuding. If you've been following the Kardashians, you're probably aware of the continuing feud between these two. This isn't the first time Kourtney has chastised Kim for not being thrilled for her. But what if she was correct all along, and Kim is finally revealing her true colors? Despite the fact that the charge appears to be unsubstantiated and arrogant at first. But is Kim envious of her sister? And what's the deal with the reports that she and Travis slept together? The Kardashians' habit of passing males around among their friends is nothing new. But are they passing on the custom to their children? Alternatively, Kim may be uncomfortable having someone else in the spotlight with her because she and Kanye were once the Kardashian family's favored couple. And now that Courtney and Travis are happily married and living the dream, the founder of Skims may be disappointed with her sister. If there's one thing fans of the reality TV star sisters know, it's that Kim has a tendency to believe the world revolves around her. And we're worried she's rubbing not only her sister, but also her fans the wrong way. Courtney may have just revealed why Kim is feeling so stressed. Could she have exposed a possible family gang up against her? So, why don't we just get started? I divorced Travis because I discovered he was having an affair with Kim. He's now in love with her sister. It's all disgusting. I am not the villain. The notion that Kim is dating Travis Barker, Courtney's husband, initially became involved when his daughter Alabama shared a screenshot of a conversation she had with her mother, Travis's previous wife. It's no secret that Travis had feelings for Kim while he was still married to Paris Hilton, and Kim herself was working with Paris at the time. In 2015, he even referred to her as eye candy. He had just broken up with Paris at the moment. I know what you're thinking. Isn't this old news now? Or how does that apply in this case? Courtney is said to have discovered Kim flirting with a Blink-182 drummer at one of their family's recent gatherings. And, as we all know, my girl isn't afraid to say what she thinks. It wouldn't be court if it wasn't done this way, because she made it clear to Kim that she was not pleased with Kim's attempts to dig her claws into her guy. For those of you who have been living under a rock, the rivalry has recently heated up. We feel that was the driving force for Kim's choice to pursue her sister's partner. According to an insider source, Kim was flirting with Travis despite her sister, or so we hope. You know how these Kardashian women pass their men like football. We really hope he's simply flirting with her and not getting beneath any blankets here. Anyway, we're sure you're wondering what happened to the sisters, who were set to take on the world together. Sit tight because the tea just got hotter, and we're guessing Courtney was right all along. It's logical that Courtney would be irritated by this. After all, it was her special day, and while everyone she had invited seemed to be having a fantastic time, her sister barely mentioned her wedding. Travis, the love of her life, had finally gotten past all of his mentally taxing drama since she was getting married. It's understandable that she'd be disappointed if her sister didn't show enough support. Kim would have expected the same thing from her. Not to mention the rather awkward advice Kim provided her before the push founder walked down the aisle at her dream Italian wedding. You stole my wedding country and my wedding performer. I got married in Italy. Am I saying you copied me by getting married in Italy? Who performed at my wedding? Andrea Bocelli. Who performed at Courtney's wedding? Andrea Bocelli. So Kim decided to give her sister marriage advice, like the marriage expert she is, and all she could do was make it about her. It was just Kim chatting about Kim on Courtney's wedding day. As usual in true Kim flair, what an attitude. She only needed to draw a link between herself and the advice she was delivering. Let's just say that this wedding will be the catalyst for a slew of later drama. Courtney assumed Kim had stolen her wedding gown for her Dolce Gabbana commercial. You know, this may appear to be a little occurrence, but it raises some ethical questions, at least for Courtney, who said her sister took advantage of her wedding for financial benefit. 
Given what we know about Kim now, it's a little odd that she would have staged her older sister in that way. If the roles had been reversed, she would have been furious. Maybe it wouldn't have been such a huge issue if she just told Courtney about the full campaign approach. Alternatively, you may discover that choosing Courtney's hand-picked drawings for her campaign was a miscalculation. Kim, the mother of four, believed that her sister was attempting to steal her moment and inspiration without even notifying her. And let me just say that she was not having it. Okay, Wedding Nation. Kim, haven't you been married three times already? So no one can get married in Italy anymore? I don't think Courtney is furious because Kim used her carefully chosen design, but rather because the inventor of Skims failed to even notify her of her plans. She undoubtedly understood she'd been wrong at the moment. However, she may not have wanted Courtney to intervene, so she preferred to proceed and deal with the consequences afterward. This is where things get interesting, according to Courtney, who believes Kim struck the Dolce Gabbana agreement out of pure greed and a lack of self-control. She believes Kim acted the way she did because she couldn't let her have all of the attention and needed a piece of it herself. Kim appears to have no sense of when to stop because no one in the family has ever called her out for taking and never stopping. Courtney's assurance, though, that she will not be holding back this time. This is no little matter because we all know how Kim can be with what she considers to be hers. Even the smallest details, such as Christmas lights, are important. During the confessional, Courtney stated that the experience reminded her of when she was 14 and wanted to establish her identity as a true course girl. But Kim confessed that she too wanted to learn how to ride a horse. This feud in which Kim desires Courtney's life has lasted since they were children. Kim might be annoyed that Courtney is having fun and living the high life. But what are your thoughts? Why is it that Kim makes everything about herself? She always likes to be the center of attention, but is this typical of Chelsea or just a terrible habit? And why was she flirting with Courtney's husband? Is she genuinely convinced that every man wants her? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below.